Okay, so I'm gonna show you three different ways to turn in assignments on Google Classroom, and I'm gonna timestamp them. So in case you don't have to actually fill out the document I'm showing here, you're not in my class, or you're not doing it for another teacher, you can go ahead and um, you can click down below um, in the uh, the little, if you click the little arrow or whatever that shows you um, the description of the video, you can find the timestamps to skip the section where I actually have the students type in on this document, okay? So there's three different ways that I'm gonna show you. So look down there if you're just looking how to submit and turn in these documents. Okay, so we're on number six right here. And it says, explain the steps to turn in this assignment. So look at this assignment right here. And you see that there's already something attached here. That's great because all you gotta do is click on it, check to make sure it's the right assignment, it's filled out. If it is, you just click turn in, okay? So I'm gonna show you this real quick on Google Classroom. So here we are in Google Classroom. Now remember, the first thing you see when you get on Google Classroom is it's gonna take you to the extreme. But we wanna go to the classwork section because that's where you wanna try and turn in your assignments. So not, and I mean try, cause you might be able to turn them in on the stream depending on how your teacher uploads it. But I, you can, I would suggest turning it in on the classwork section. So I'm gonna click classwork and just get used to this section. And I'm gonna go down here and here's three different assignments, three different ways that we're going to, I'm gonna show you. So we're doing the first one, which is the food chain games questions. This one already has an assignment attached, but it hasn't been turned in because it shows it right here that it's only assigned. If it was turned in, this would say turned in. And then also over here that this is still um, a light color. It's not grayed in is what I'm trying to say. If it was grayed in, that means you don't have to worry about it. If it was gray, that means you've already turned it in. So now what you're gonna do to be able to turn in this assignment since it wasn't completed, but we have this document and it might be the right one, we're gonna click view assignment down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And this is the part I showed you earlier, okay? When we were looking, there's an assignment here. I gotta make sure it's the right assignment. And if it is, I click turn in. When teachers make a copy for you, um, this is where it would show up, which is really nice. And so um, if you've already been typing on it, you already finished it, all you really have to do is click turn in. But let's check to make sure it's the correct document and make sure you have already filled it in. So if I look right here, oh, okay, like, look, let's imagine I have filled it in. So let's just imagine all this gibberish, okay, is me filling it in and it was all the way done, okay? Then I can turn it in. If it wasn't, if I'm like, oh my gosh, this is blank, well, then I need to fix it before I turn it in, okay? So let's say if it was turned in, I mean, it was fixed, it's perfect. I can exit right here go back here and I can just turn it in. That's it, really easy, okay? So we can stop, you can click the next number time if you don't have to write this part if you don't have this assignment. All right, so now I'm gonna write that on my assignment. Ah, let's put this guy over here to the side. And I have so many things up. Okay, we're gonna click right back here, okay? And we're gonna go down here and we're gonna go over here on number six. So on number six, what did we do? Um, we can actually just look at this right here. Okay, so what we did is we clicked on this attachment right here. So click on the attached document. Okay, that was this one right here. And check to see if, if it's completed and if it was the correct document. If so, or if, if it is, if it is, then click what? What are we going to click? Hopefully you're going to say which button over you're going to click. Turn it in, right? Yeah. So then if it is, then click turn in. Bam. So that is the first way, the first um, way to turn in assignment. So what happened if your assignment looks like this? Okay. So what happened if it looks like this? Let me go back to Google Classroom and show you this. So we're going to go ahead and um, let's just put this over here for right now. All right. And I'm going to just go backwards to show you this one. So if I'm on Google Classroom, sorry, I'm clicking a lot of bunch of places. And that's how you close assignments to get them out of your way. Just click on them. All right, so now we're gonna go back and let's say that we have this cellular respiration assignment. It's not gray, so it means it needs to be done. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. Okay, do you remember what button to click to turn in an assignment? Hopefully you remember. You're gonna click view assignment. A lot of students always get stuck right there. So now I'm over here and look, there's nothing attached here. But let's say I did this in class. I know my teacher did. I'm like, well, how, how do I get it added on here? Okay, what I would suggest is looking at the title of the assignment and copying this. A lot of times teachers, whatever they name here, okay, was the name of the assignment they're looking for. 
if you've already done it. So I would suggest copying this, okay? And I'd go over here and then you gotta search for this. So you gotta click add. So either you're gonna look for it on your Google Drive, okay? You're gonna look, um, maybe a link, maybe you're like, oh yeah, I was on my, I don't know, on your flash drive or something, okay? Or maybe you're uploading it from directly from your, I don't know. Anyways, these three options. For most of my students, it's gonna be on Google Drive. Everything we're doing is on Google for us. So we're gonna click right here. And in the search bar right here, this is where you're gonna um, paste the title of that document, and then you just hit enter. Bam, and it's gonna search for the name of that document everywhere. And look, here it is right here, excuse me. It says Celery Respiration. So you're gonna click that, and you're just gonna click insert, and there it is. Now before I turn it in, don't forget, we gotta click on it to make sure, is this the correct document? Is it filled out? All that good stuff. So let's just imagine like, yeah, this is filled out. Wouldn't it be nice if it was only one sentence? But let's just say, yeah, that's it. All right, that's the good one. Okay, we can exit again if it is. If not, you need to fill it in. And I just click turn in. And if um, I turn it in and there's something wrong with it or something, or if the teacher was like, you know, I don't know, anything, you can click unsubmit to fix any problems you have. And then you can click turn in again. And now it even shows up here turned in, which is great. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and write that. And again, you can skip to the next one if you don't have this assignment to write. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to move this actually off to the side. I'm going to do a split screen. Okay. And we're going to go back into our little typey thing right here. And I'm going to move it over. I like split screens. It really helps. All right. So we're going to uh, look right here. So if I saw this, explain the steps to turn in this assignment. All right. So if you remember the first thing that we did, let's just make sure this, this wasn't submitted. All right, so the first thing that we did, let me just go back to the classwork section, okay. So the first thing we did is that we um, copied the name of the assignment, okay? So we're gonna write that. We're gonna put on here number seven, we copy the name of the assignment. And then, and if you don't forget how do you do that, you hit control, um, control V, that allows you to copy. Now you don't need to write that, but I'm just telling you, control V. And then what did we do? Okay, after we copy the name of it, which button down here do you have to click? Think about it for a second. Hopefully you said add or create. Okay, so we're gonna write that. So we're gonna put then click the, oh, all right there, add or create, oops, it was lowercase, create button. Okay, so then click the add or create button. What did we do next? So after we click the add or create button, you have to look for it right up here for these three areas of where you can have it. I'll explain this on the next one. So right here, you have to look for it. So we're gonna put, um, then you look for your assignment, okay? And like I said, most of the time, most of the time, you will click drive because that's most of the time for my class that's where it'll be so i would suggest looking for your through your drive so if you click drive okay right here to search for it don't forget you got to go in the search bar right here you can try looking all these other places but i like the search bar especially if you know the name of it but it can you can go a different route if you know okay so i'm going to go ahead and just paste it in right here right and we clicked enter and then it found it right away for us so we're going to write that okay so most of the time you'll click the drive We'll put um, the drive right there and then paste the name of the assignment, right? That's what we did. We pasted the name Celery Respiration into the search bar. And then what did I do? I push enter. Then push enter. Okay, I'm just writing this short for you guys. All right, the assignment, hopefully, if it had the name of the assignment, you might have to ask your teacher the name if it's not appearing. So right here, you can see right here, the assignment will appear and the assignment will appear and, okay, oops, then the assignment will appear and you will select that assignment, which you would click right here. Yeah, that's right. And then we're gonna click what? Insert. So you're gonna select that assignment and then click, oops. Okay, so wait, the assignment will appear and you will select that assignment Oh, we will select that assignment and then click insert, right? We'll make that real big for you guys. So I'm going to click insert. 
and then that single period goes like that. And then, so now that we've inserted it, here it is right here. Okay, so you guys can see what it looks like big. It's right here. And you just gotta click turn it. But before you turn it in, don't forget, check. Click on it, make sure it's the right one. Like, oh yeah, this one sentence. Yeah, that's the right one. Anyways, whatever it is for you, make sure it's the right one and then click turn it in, okay? And so, and then click insert, which we did. Okay, so it here. And then we're gonna say if it is the correct document, or let's just put you're gonna check, right? We said you need a check. See, then click on the attachment. So I'm saying click right here, okay? And then click on the, the attachment to make sure it is filled out and it is the correct document. If so, then click turn in. All right, perfect. Oh my gosh, that was really long, right? Okay, so that was number seven. And now we're going to do um, the next one right here. Oh yeah, so I need to make sure I turn it in. Bam. All right. Okay, so now we're going to go back over here. Sorry if I have too many things going on for you guys. All right, and it says right here, now we're going to do number eight. So I'm on number eight right here. So this is the third way to turn something in uh, or to actually even just start an assignment. Let me show you. So explain the steps to turn in an assignment that just gives directions for a project. Maybe you're making a PowerPoint. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, that's confusing. All right, so what I'm talking about here is I'm going to go back to classwork. Let's say right here that this assignment, if I click on that your teacher has given you, remember, how do I open it to see if I need to turn it in or get the project started? Which button do I got to click right here? Hopefully you remember. Which one is it? You want to click view assignment, okay? Because that's where we want to go to turn it in. So let's say right here, invasive species PowerPoint. If you notice, it's over here, but it's not over here, okay? That's because these are directions your teacher's giving you. And over here, you want to, whatever this directions is, whatever they tell you to doing, um, you'll eventually create an assignment and then you'll turn it in right here. Okay. So um, if you click on it, let's say this tells me that I need to make a PowerPoint. Oh, look right here. It has to be 10 slides and slide one has to have this, slide two has to have this and so on. Okay. So I'm going to close out of this so I can read what I need to do. Okay. And if I have to make it in Google Slides, well, then what I can do is I can come over here to where it says this is your work, okay? And I can click add or create. So in this case, now you're gonna create that assignment. And they said it was a PowerPoint. So I'm gonna go down. If you don't know, Google Slides is a PowerPoint, okay? Um, it's the same thing. It's just online, it's through Google, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and click this and this will start my Google Slides for me. So it's always right here. So let's say if I don't finish this assignment, it's just popping it open. Let me just show you back here. But if I don't finish this, maybe I only get five slides done. At least it's right here and I don't have to look for it every single time. This is so awesome. Okay. So like even if this was directions on how to write a paper, same thing. You would want to go over here and click. If it was a paper, you would want to click Google Docs, which is um, where you usually write papers. Or if they wanted you to graph, you'd click that. Or if they wanted you to draw. Okay. And that's great because every time then now you have this assignment right here, if you don't finish it, you can always come back to this assignment. You can open it up like I showed you and you can click on this and proceed to finish it. Okay. So like I could finish making my slides here. All right. And then once I'm done, all you got to do is click turn in. All right. That's nice. So that is the third way that I'm um, to turn in an assignment. And uh, hopefully that helped you out. And we're going to go back for my students that are doing the worksheet and we're going to write this. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, make it go side screen. And if not, if you're not, if you're done, you can just go ahead and get out of the video. All right. So over here, right here, I'm going to put, so explain the steps to turn in an assignment um, that just gives directions for a project. Okay. So um, what we're going to do in this case, like we said, let's go ahead and unsubmit it so we can remember what we did. Okay. Unsubmit. Let's go back here so I can just show it to you guys again. Okay. Here's the invasive species. So you're going to click on it. You're going to click on view assignment. So, okay. And now we're here. All right. And what we did first was that we um, will go ahead and exit out of this part right here is that you're going to click add or create. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to write that. So you will click plus, which is the add or create. You will click the that button right there. Okay. 
So then once you click it, what are we going to do next is this is where you're going to create a new. Okay. And the one that we're creating in this case is we're creating a new slide. Okay. So then select create new. And the one you're either selecting is you're either going to do slide docs. You'll, you'll check if you're writing like a paper or if you're doing a PowerPoint, you'll click slides. Or if you're doing graphing, you'll click sheets. Or if you're doing drawing, you'll click drawings. So you'll select one of those, okay? So go, so go ahead and you'll select one of these, okay? Okay, after you have finished your assignment, then you will click, um, you will click turn it in. This will turn in, this will change to that turn it in button. Then you will click turn in. Okay, and I can show you that real quick again. So like, let's say if I click the slides again, it's going to upload it. It does take it a second. And right here, you're going to go ahead and um, we can exit out of this. But now I can click turn it in. Okay, and now I've turned it in. All right, so that's it for number eight.